Hey Andre, guess what? We are in the two most rare mid-size trucks, well, out there this year for 2021. What are you driving? Yeah, I think you're right. I am driving the all new 2021 Ford Ranger Trimmer. Well, la di da my friend, because I am in a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, but you know what's unusual about it? It's a weird green color. No, dude, it's a manual. Can you believe that? It's a manual TRD Pro Tacoma. How cool is that? That's very cool, but we also have a third truck, right? Yeah, leading our little uh, procession is the long-term TFL Jeep Gladiator, and that's gonna be the benchmark for this test. Well, we do have three mid-sized trucks. They're not all equal. The Toyota TRD Pro is the least expensive at 47,000. Now, going up a thousand dollars, you get to the Ford Ranger Tremor, but, the reason that the Gladiator is the benchmark is because it starts at, well, that one costs us 55000 but we've got at least $10,000 worth of mods. So it's really kind of Granny Smith versus Red Delicious versus an orange. Andre, a snowstorm in January in Colorado. Who would have thunk? Well, I'm glad it's snowing actually. Yeah, it makes for more uh, difficult conditions. So uh, this is Cliffhanger 1.0. There's an easy way, call it truth, and then there's a hard way, let's call it dare. Truth or dare, Andre? Dare all the way. These are off-road trucks, dude. All right, so let's do this. Since we're only not comparing Gladiator directly because it's, you know, not quite of the same caliber as the other yeah. two trucks, how about if I do this? I'll take the Gladiator up, and kind of set the benchmark. Okay. And then you take the other two trucks up uh, and then you compare them and I'll kind of watch you from the outside. But choose kind of a more difficult line, okay? And I'll follow your line through right. it. All right, so let me show you why this is hard. So as you can see, guys, uh, this is there, the right side. There are those big rutted tree roots. Uh, I'll try to go uh, with my left wheel over that one. It makes it really hard because then there's a really big kind of dip. So left wheel over the root, right wheel through the dip. Wow, that's hard line. That's a hard line. Let's see if the Gladiator can do it. So I'm in the Gladiator, and this is a thing that the other two trucks don't have. It's right here. You can tell I've got a front and a rear lock. I've got the sway bar uh, disconnect. I also have, you can tell, everything locked up. And I have pitch and roll, so it lets me know just how uh, crazy steep it's getting. Uh, and I'm going to go the very hard route on purpose. Uh, to see if this gladiator can uh, set the bar. All right, Andre, are you ready? Well, I'm ready, but are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna first take it slow, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try to do it with a little bit of momentum, but first I'm just gonna try to crawl over it, okay? And like I say, I'm going the hard way. A lot of ruts, a lot of uh, really difficulty here. Yeah, so as you can see, he can crawl very slowly. All right, here we go. I'm about to hit the route. This is where a lot of vehicles get hung up. This is where big tires really help. Oh my God, this thing made it look easy. It just made it look so easy. Oh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, Andre. You almost had it. You almost had it. Okay, stop right there. Stop right there and try to get momentum. All right, I'm gonna do it with a little bit of momentum. Here I go. I'm at pitch 20 degrees, roll 15 degrees. This is a little butt crunchy. Oh yeah. It just took a little momentum, but uh, it did it. Here's some more ruts and some more roots. Yeah, this truck is uh, just unstoppable. This is why, you know, 35s are yesterday's 33s and quickly 44s are becoming tomorrow's 35s because you know the bigger the tire the easier it is to get it up and over obstacles like that but yeah this this jeep is certainly at home out here it's uh not struggling and you know i usually don't like to mix off-roading and snow because well it's sketchy uh but in this jeep it makes it look easy the articulation in this jeep is really amazing and of course also uh, the uh, traction and the 
slow speed crawl ratio. That's hard to beat. Hey, I'm gonna take the hard line going down too, okay, Andre? Holy cow! Ironically, the Gladiator has by far the nicest interior. It, of course, is right out of a Wrangler, but you can tell they spent a lot of time, energy, and thought into making this very rugged, very off-road worthy. But it also has the worst seating position. When you get to be well, a little bit taller than what I find is that the seat provides very little, if any, lumbar support. I can never get the seat far enough back, and I always feel like my nose is way too close to the front windscreen. But overall, if you want to feel special, this interior makes you feel special. And not many scratchy materials. They're all kind of leather. All right, one, yeah, even that's kind of leathery. Yeah, it's nice. This, this Jeep just has so much confidence. That sway bar disconnect is just letting that axle do its thing, soak up these bumps. It's like butter. Well, I can see here from here that the wheels are always on the ground, right? You're articulating, and your wheels are always dashing, always gripping. Plus, I have a heated steering wheel and heated seats. <laughs> this is what this thing was built for, dude. It just eats it up. All right, what do you say? Jump in the uh, Tacoma, your turn. This is gonna be hard, dude. Yes, it's a little bit apples versus oranges, but there's one thing that all three of these trucks have in common, and I'm gonna tell you that at the end of this little segment. And of course, the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon starts out on 33s, but this one has a two inch lift uh, for a total of about 13 inches of ground clearance and it's riding on 35 inch tall tires So this is why it's the benchmark. It also has front and rear lockers Disconnectable front sway bar. Of course it has a winch um, So hopefully we won't have to use the winch, but this should be the most capable today This of course is the most off-road worthy from the factory Tacoma you can get and that's because of an excellent approach angle about 35 degrees this truck has 9.4 inches of ground clearance and it does have a rear locker. So where do we go from here? Well, let's talk about the Ranger. For 2021, Ford did not give us the Ranger Raptor in the US, but they gave us this, the Tremor, which is the next step up over where the Ranger FX4 used to be. But it's not quite a Raptor, of course. Still has very excellent approach angles, skid plates, and 32 inch tall tires. And of course the rear locker, drive modes, and it has red nostrils. This is how you know it's a tremor. All right, Andre, so uh, what do they have in common? Because certainly the power plants are different. <laughs> certainly the colors are different. Yes. Uh, certainly, you know, the capabilities are somewhat different. So what do they have in common? Aha, they're all using Fox shocks, actually. Huh, good for you, Fox. All right, so let me show you why this is so hard. It's steep, it's rutted. Right here, these roots. Well, I think the, uh, the Jeep made it a little easier. Broke the root. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, come on up, Andre. It's also soft, soft. It's a little bit of everything. All right, guys, I gotta say that Roman set, uh, really, a big standard. He threw down the gauntlet and I'm gonna need everything. All right, Andre. Now, you know, manuals are a little bit trickier uh, going off-road, but there is a clutch disconnect switch there if you get stuck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use first gear and a little bit of momentum here. So. You went up like this. Oh, I killed the engine. That did not go well, Andre. No. So, let me back up. All right, now you might want to try momentum. You're good, keep backing up, keep backing up. I know it feels bug punchy, but you're fine. Okay. Okay. So, I got stopped by that route. 
So now, I think I need to pop it a little bit. Hold on a second, let me make sure my locker is engaged. It's blinking still, hold on. Yeah, so, you know, in the snow, in the soft sand, I mean, really tires are what it's all about. Okay, now good. Okay, my locker is now engaged. I was a little bit uh, sideways and my locker wasn't wasn't helping me. Okay, so now I'm kind of gonna attack it like this. Whoa! Whoa! I had to use a lot of momentum. Oh, now articulation. <laughs> it's a wild wild ride. <laughs> Sorry dude, I gotta you I had to use my speed. <laughs> yeah, but you made it. I really like the interior of this Tacoma. It's modern yet it's functional. The materials for the most part don't feel like they're well scratchy plastics. Uh, the screen is about the right size. I'm sure given 10 years it's gonna be the whole dashboard. But overall, my only complaint about the Tacoma is, of course, the seating position. I always feel like I'm sitting on top of a Tacoma instead of inside of it. All right, come on down. Let's see how it does on the way down. Stay a little bit farther to your right this time. So the Tacoma in the manual transmission has a 44 to 1 crawl ratio, which is impressive. It's okay. But when you compare it against, you know, the Jeep and the Ranger, it doesn't seem like a lot anymore. And now I'm gonna crawl down here in first. I think I can drop in here and actually go around. Whew. I had to use a lot of gas there, but but I was cooking. All right, there, there's a guy over there in a gladiator waiting to go up. On 37, so he just uh, he just out tired me <laughs> in our gladiator, uh, and he derubied it. He took off the uh, Rubicon sticker on his. Looks really clean, but let's see what Andre does in the tremor. Oh, he's going the easy way. Oh, uh, too expensive. He's going the easy way. <laughs> oh, come on, he could do it. On 37s. On 37s. So uh, try it with wheel. You know, try it with crawling first right you've got yeah. all those modes I uh, have a lot of modes I also have crawl control yeah try that or trail control yeah see if that works and then okay. uh, if it doesn't we'll have to resort to the Nathan method <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. so I'm engaging my locker I'm engaging trail control system which is Ford's crawl control there I'm locked and loaded and I'm gonna try it at about I want to say two miles an hour. That's kind of my slow speed. Two miles an hour it is. Go for it. All right, so let me control my speed. I'm using my cruise control buttons. This is basically like slow speed off-road cruise control. Maybe that's a little slow. So two and a half. So you want to go passenger more. So I'm going this way. And once again, the computer is doing everything. Ooh! Ooh! Crawl control! No way! That was easy. I didn't touch a pedal. The computer tried to figure it out. And you could hear the ABS working, the locker was engaged. I can still verify that. Yes, that's engaged. And... Yeah, that was very impressive. I think the tires are quite good too. I'm impressed, Andre. You just figured it out. That was strange, dude. I did not touch a pedal. It got stuck for like, you know, maybe two seconds and then uh, it said power where there was traction and you scooted right over that route. And uh, yeah, yeah, very impressive. Um, you know, <laughs> I hate to say this because I'm proud of my off-roading skills, but technology is you know, doing a much better job than I can ever do. While this Ranger Tremor is ostensibly the newest truck here, the interior is getting a little bit dated. What I mean by that is, inside, when you're in the Gladiator, you feel like you're perhaps in something special. In the Tacoma, it's kind of modern and functional, but yet here, I could be in a number of 
different Fords. Having said that, the seats are very comfortable. The plastics are, well, also scratchy, uh, but the driving position is probably the best out of all three of these trucks. Now, uh, Ford has added a set of auxiliary switches up here, which are very Raptor-esque, but I think I would prefer like a binnacle of outside temperature, maybe an inclinometer, as opposed to having auxiliary gauges that are so prominent. But if I were to take one on a cross-country trip, this would be the one. So dude, I'm crawling in crawl control still. Now I'm at one and a half. So I'm gonna try to crawl down, but the ABS is working. Are they still there? <laughs> Only two. You left two? No, I'm kidding, they're all there. That one almost took one out. Oh, that was a bad hit. No. Oh, I felt that one. Andre, it's pretty eye-opening. It's a brand new world of off-road electronic crawl control. Yes. I was surprised. I thought it was going to get hung up and stuck there, but it thought for a minute. Boom, the Ranger Tremor went. Yeah, you know, um, I think after we close this video, you should try the Gladiator's crawl control and see if that system is as good. Okay, let's see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out TFL Off-Road for more news, views, and of course, apples to apples to oranges <laughs> off-road reviews. All right, jump in the Gladiator. Let's take that up and let's see how it does using crawl control. I'm going. See you guys next time. Well, you'll see Andre going up now. Ciao. Okay, my lockers are engaged. I'm turning on Jeep's crawl control system and I'm gonna select two and a half. This is the same speed as I used in the Ford. I'm going the same speed! So what happened, dude, is the system tried to figure it out, Yeah, but, it but, didn't. but then it just couldn't jump over it. I think it's just really heavy, this truck. Yeah, probably. Now he's going to hit it. Here we go. Yeah, I think the weight of that tent and the rack system and the length of the Gladiator make it, makes it a little bit heavier and it's not as jumpy. It doesn't want to jump quite as well. So finally he did it.